functional as uh, this is connected to what Amiram uh, started with multifunctional uh, and uh, Shaima is uh, with uh, functional dual functional and I'm with B functional. Uh, I feel that the, the, the title of my book is a novel, but it is said to have to look at what you get from God's living. And uh, I still think that uh, uh, nature is the best cooker for. Uh, Plants, and uh, we should continue to look for the better drugs in natural products. Uh, I have seen that uh, the paclitaxel, which was discovered in the 60s and approved as an anti-cancer drug, uh, I think, in the 80s. From the 1988 or 1989, but its therapeutic window is uh, narrow, and uh, there is a lot of side effects. So I have used a in silico techniques to look for other drugs that could target. The uh, MMB2, that is the protein, uh, protein as 2, that overexpressed in cancer cells, and uh, looking for a, 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 a drug for this target, I have found that the lipoic acid is one of uh, these uh, candidates. So I try to think about linking between the lipoic acid and the bacilitaxel. Here we have the uh, carboxyl moiety in the lipoic acid and in the, uh, in the taxol we have the uh, OH that forms the group. Uh, so, in, uh, in that the, 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 the uh, a lot of uh, side effects of the, uh, the taxons, there is a limited uh, uh, use. And the, the question if linking between uh, uh, the lipoic acid and the bacilitaxel could uh, help us to get rid of these uh, 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 side effects. The, we have done amplification reaction between the lipoic acid and the bacilitaxel, and produced a new molecule, a new chemical entity, termed uh, uh, bacilitaxel or uh, uh, termed IMD 1040. This was one of the molecules uh, that we uh, uh, started on a startup in NGT Incubator. Uh, we have verified the chemical composition by uh, literalizes MMR, HPNC, and uh, uh, MS. And we have a, a, a 90 second EPSA uh, This is small, still small molecule. Well, uh, uh, its weight is uh, around uh, 1,040 dalton. We have the uh, lipoic acid, with, with, which is known as non reductive antioxidant quality. And uh, after testing this molecule in a vivo model, we have found that it is 
Phenobol Sift V5 have unique DK profile and superior efficacy compared to Pagliadoxin. Uh, when comparing in animal models the toxicity of the bucket axial reward compared to bucket axial, it is more safer uh, 12 times. The maximum tolerated dose for bucket axial reward is 250, while the uh, NTD uh, for bucket axial is between uh, uh, 13 and 20 milligrams per kilo. In which type of uh, cancers uh, uh, to use it? We have a long form and uh, find that uh, there is a depressed underlying cancer that is dominated in, uh, among the different types of uh, cancers. And uh, when we are looking on the uh, estimated number of deaths, we have seen that the lung cancer is the main uh, cause of death uh, among uh, the cancer patients. And uh, we have selected uh, the cancer for trying to test this one to use animal models. When comparing our new molecule, Bucket axial, we have found that it is more effective. In red color, the taxon of bucket axial using 20 mg per kilo. In our way, we will be using the, uh, the, the MTD 250 or half uh, of the MTD 50 percent of the MTD. We have seen that, that this is more effective. We also uh, tested the different results, and in all of them, we have found that this new uh, molecule is more effective. And when we uh, tested the pharmacokinetic, we have seen that after the injection of the bacteria vaccine, it is metabolized. Metabolized in, in, in the bloodstream, and a bucket of cereal is produced gradually. And uh, maybe this one of the reasons that it is less toxic. So, uh, the bucket of cereal uh, is around 2.4 hours. And the key half of the bucket axial is So the T half of the bucket axial is around uh, 19 hours. Uh, so this this also could explain the So, uh, uh, 
Wahat, wahat. Sorry for that. Yeah. So, uh, when comparing the T half, the half time of a battery textile tool, textile what we have found it that it is around eight times more. So, this could explain the uh, a safety, the more safety of the new uh, drug control. And also, uh, the neutropenia is one of the side effects for the packet, uh, for the packet textile. So uh, we compare the neutropenia of the packet textile compared to the packet textile part, and we have found that when comparing the number of neutrophils when using packet textile. Uh, around 70% reduction in the number of neutrophils, while using Bacitexia Liquat caused to less than 30% reduction in number of neutrophils. So we have three molecules, molecules or, uh, in one molecule. We have a neuroprotective moiety, this is the lipoic acid. We have the IDT1040, Bacitexel Liquat that is still active, and we have the Bacitexel that is produced by the hydrolysis of the Bacitexel Liquat. So we have more safer molecule with PK, unique PK, and efficacy profile, and uh, minimal neutropenia. We have uh, submitted this molecule to the FDA regulation, and we have it approves to the 505E2 regulatory pathway with single toxicology MTD study in rats. A, and we have tested also the a, a manufacturing costs, and we have found that this cost is a, a, a low because we are talking about one step synthesis, esterification synthesis. We have already uh, uh, published this in the, uh, uh, 2019 in the International Journal of Computer Sciences. We have also a, produced another a control kit with Lucidaxel. And uh, I think that this could be a good a procedure for producing new chemicals that where we can conjugate two molecules that both are working in two targets and when given uh, uh, into the body they will be neutralized and uh, 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 be active on the two targets. By this way we can lower the, the toxicity or the side effects of the drugs. Thank you very much.
questions. The battery detector is known as it working on the little cubes. And uh, the required acid is uh, known as also, as I told, that it could be active on the MBB2, but we can't uh, prove it that because uh, uh, lipoic acid is known as active in the MBB2. But the, conjunct uh, the conjugate between the, the lipoic acid and the uh, acid uh, is hydrophobic. Uh, uh, and testing it on the MB2 is uh, very difficult in, in, the, uh, in vitro. It, it should be done in, in, in the tube in uh, water. So we, we can't prove that the conjugate is active on MB2, but we know that uh, when it, it is injected into the animal, it is hydrolyzed into two components, but it is uh, in, in, in more than 20 hours, uh, instead of being uh, 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 with the T half of the bucket cell of 2.4 hours. Um, did you include uh, your scheme of research a control, like um, having um, other drug or other candidate that targets microtubules, like um, what we know, polycin? Uh, we have compared the Baclitaxel as a control with the new drug uh, candidate. So we don't need to, to test it in any, uh, the control in the Baclitaxel itself, as the negative control is without using the drug. So we have the negative control, the positive control that is the approved drug, the Baclitaxel, and the testing molecule that is the packet accelerator where the new molecule that we are testing. Mm -hmm. Actually, two, two questions. One is, uh, uh, I may have missed Is it given by injection or perhaps? Injection, okay. So the next question is uh, when you inject it, then you encounter all kinds of esterases. Is it possible that the drug, the conjugate, works most of the delivery because it gets cleaved by esterases because it's an ester? So it may be cleaved by esterases and then paclitaxel works better because it gets delivered better. Yeah, this, this could be a possibility and uh, oh. When we have, uh, we have uh, tested the, the conjugate, I think, in more than uh, 100 uh, animals, mice, and uh, uh, we, we have found that in the body it is found for this, and the half time is uh, 19 hours. So I'm sure that it is hydrolyzed, and maybe the, the, the hydrolysis is around the cancer uh, uh, cells. And this could also explain why the, the, the neutropenia is less. Because uh, in, uh, in, in, in vivo, uh, they, are, uh, they, give, uh, they are giving lipoic acid, for neutropenia uh, 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 scientific treatment. So 
uh, similar question to the one of Mira. Do you have any mechanistic uh, explanation for the different pharmacokinetic uh, of this conjugate uh, in the biometabolism? The different T1 values. The mechanism, we, 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 we know that, that the FDA approved us, approved for, for us to give this as a, a, in the, in the, the 505P2 uh, uh, pathway because they have been convinced that we are talking about two molecules that are proven to, to be used by uh, humans. And uh, that uh, it rises in the in, in the body is like a new formulation of the packet of cell, new formulation of the packet of cell itself. So, uh, 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 if you are asking about a new mechanism, I don't think that there is a new mechanism. It, it's still in the body, it will lie. The bacteria cell is uh, uh, affecting in it, uh, uh, in for the neurotubules. The leucoic acid is in B2 in, uh, in, uh, uh, inhibitor. And it could be that conjugating the bacteria cell with the leucoic uh, acid do a targeting of the bacteria uh, cell to the cancer cells via the leucoic uh, uh, acid. With which is uh, MB2 inhibitor, and uh, uh, MB2 is overexpressed on cancer cells. So we have not tested this uh, hypothesis, but it could be uh, this is the case. Yeah, this is this could be the reason that uh, the, the, any any kinetic uh, uh, reaction is it depends on where the molecules and where is the enzymes uh, uh, that do the analysis. But, uh, but, but we have not tested this uh, in lab. Yeah, if we have enough money, we will uh, go and uh, to clinical trials then to test it uh, for applications. Yeah.